Well, hello again. And we are now in week two of the UK government's isolation uh, policy. And what better time than trying to take on a project that maybe I wouldn't have taken on before. And this one, I have to say, is uh, again, way out of my comfort zone. This is doing all kinds of stuff that I haven't done before. And I don't know if you remember, you may have seen a video that I posted a few months ago of a bladesmithing course that I did with my son. And I was really hooked on it actually. And I decided I'd love to have a little forge and a way of making knives here at home. And I was inspired and I'm not going to hide it. In fact, I'm not going to show the making of a lot of this because it's on uh, a very talented guy's uh, YouTube channel, a guy called Blackbeard Projects. Uh, he makes the most beautiful things. He's a fantastic fabricator, very clever guy. And I'll put a link um, to his channel down below. Um, anyway, I've already built the forge. It's not quite finished, but it's nearly finished. I'm waiting for a few components. And I'm now going to work on the anvil. Uh, which I've decided to make out of a railway track. And again, all of this stuff was pretty much salvage stuff. I will show you um, the, the forge, etc. I've actually spent very little money on this project. The only thing that's costing me money, actually, are grinding discs and also uh, the components to fit the various bits together, which I didn't have. Anyway, uh, I'll stop crapping on. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, please click like and subscribe if you do. And um, let's go. So this is the nearly completed forge. It's it's very simply a brake drum forge. Um, the bit that I really didn't enjoy was drilling the uh, hundreds of little five millimeter holes into this piece of um, two millimeter plate uh, to catch the embers, but you know, it had to be done. The welds are awful. My welding is shocking. Um, I also had to um, weld uh, these pipes which I, it was very tricky actually. So one of the biggest challenges I had at my level of uh, of welding was to actually weld this lateral pipe here and cut that to shape. That was quite tricky. Um, but one of the things I'm quite pleased with for a bloke of my ability or lack of it or moderate ability is this. I had to find a way of being able to empty the embers but not having them fall all over the ground. So I bend this piece, made a spring, and so I can just do that. And it works pretty well, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, not a new idea, I know, but uh, it was nice to be able to fabricate it all myself. So the next part of the fun here is uh, this is the piece of railway track that I'm going to turn into my anvil. Um, again, uh, I paid £10 for it, which is way under scrap value. And this vice, which I was also incredibly lucky to find in a salvage place, I'll, I will restore it in due course, but it still works. It's got a quick release and I paid £20 for that. So again, we're still very much on a budget here. Um, and the um, nine inch angle grinder which I'm about to um, kick in with was also a salvage yard by I think for 30 pounds but that's going to last me a long time even though I'm absolutely terrified of the thing. As you can see Dougal is not at all sure what I'm about to do is sensible. He's probably right. So I have encountered my first problem, apart from the fact that this is incredibly difficult to do generally. Um, I have only got a sort of toy angle grinder wrench that came with my 
small DeWalt one and this thing is pretty much fixed in and I can't budge it so I can't change the disc so I can't carry on so what I've decided to do um, because I guess I've got time is I'm gonna try and make one so let's see how that goes so this is the plan right now I've got a piece of um, five by uh, I think it's it must be about five mil thick four mil five mil thick I reckon yeah five mil thick gauge plate um, I've marked out the general pattern of what I want to do this should be a big solid wrench which I can harden um, the pins are going to go in here like that and I've tested them out on the angle grinder and they fit so that's the general shape that I'm going to cut out and let's see how that goes Okay, here comes the moment of truth. Let's see if my very ugly tool will actually do the job. I don't we'll see anything, but... Yes! Ah, oh, hurrah, it did it, very exciting, oh, wow, that was really stuck on. Look at that, isn't that satisfying? Well, that was a hell of a lot of work to be totally honest but also kind of satisfying really look at that beautiful steel to where I've got so far um, that was not easy it took a long time so the next stage now is going to be to to draw out the nose of the anvil and begin to cut and grind this area here. So that's what I'm going to be doing next.
So this is about how far down my grinder can go, um, and I have the same issue on the other side. So now actually I'm going to um, try and hammer that off with a cold chisel and hope that snaps off. I would have liked to have had this foot, or the base, come out further, but it's just impossible to cut, or certainly with the equipment I've got. I think maybe if you had a torch or something like that you could do it. But so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bolt this down onto a log um, to keep it stable, because I understand that if I hammer there or on the hardy hole which will be here it might tip so I'll, it'll all be firmly bolted down but anyway let's try and snap that off now Okay, so <clears throat> ultimately my next challenge is going to be to make this round hole square. And I've as yet not a real clue how I'm going to do that, but we will get to that when we get to that. So this is what I've got so far. Um, as you can see, there's still quite a lot of grinding to be done, especially I'm going to grind that flat. But before I do that, I've got to attend to this uh, makeshift hardy hole. Uh, now, for anybody who doesn't know, a hardy hole cannot be round, it has to be square because otherwise when you try and use a tool in there it'll just spin as you hammer it and that is very difficult to, to work out how to do. So again, I'm going to take a leaf out of um, Blackbeard Project's books and I found, I was very lucky, I found this square, or I should say square shanked chisel and it's a diamond face and obviously that won't work but I need that squareness and I found this in a junk shop for 50p and so what I'm going to try and do is grind these edges down so that the thing goes in square I'll see if that works anyway it's the only thing I know how to do so let's see if that works Good. the squares I'm gonna get it. That was really hard work. Well, it's finished. Um, it's been a long and pretty hard process, I have to say. This has tested me quite a lot. 
but I have to say I'm incredibly happy. I've built a forge that managed to turn a piece of railway track red hot. Um, and I think my anvil's pretty cool and pretty. Feels gorgeous. Anyway, it can be done. If I can do it, it can be done. Thanks so much for watching.